Prince Performer is one of the brightest young talents on the national music scene today. Uh, we've been playing his music on 103 WKDF every Sunday night to great reviews. It's a pleasure to have him on our stage here tonight. Uh, if you would please make him welcome. And he's got a. Did I just miss a big high five? All right. Big high fives all around. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Todd O'Neill. from deep south Louisiana, Hammond, Louisiana. Down there the music is booming. We've got anything from Cajun, Zydeco, soul, rock and roll, country. My sound has developed over a period of time, actually. I grew up listening to all kinds of different music, like uh, you know, classic country, uh, classic rock, and uh, you know, my dad listened to oldies and the doo-wop kind of stuff. So it developed from like a 90s country into you know, something I really love to sing, like, uh, you know, the, the old R&B. So now my music has evolved into like this classic rock country soul. Well, in five years, I, um, I hope to be, you know, a mainstream country artist with uh, a couple number ones under his belt and, uh, you know, winning some awards, taking some top male vocalist, you know, awards home. Ten years, I hope to feel as young as I do today. Um, and I hope to still have the passion. You know, if my five-year goals happen, I hope to still have the passion and the drive that I do have for the music now. I don't believe that artists know who they are until they cut their first CD, you know, and, and looking back on the CD, I would have done so many things different, and now as an artist, I know who I am. And, and I think, you know, unintentionally, that was the perfect goal to set, is, you know, uh, learn who you are and who you want to be, and now with the second CD, I can actually say that I'm comfortable with the music that I'm cutting. and. The goal for my next CD is to get it out to the fans to where they can listen to it. The first CD, you know, 
we pushed it around locally and, and really got a good local following around Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. But the goal for this next city is really to get it into the fans' hands. My band right now, I'm so excited to have such an all-star crew put together. First we have Jordy Guidry, who's the Raging Cajun in the band. He's a bass player, he's 25 years old and just real funky, you know, uh, but rootsy and uh, got a great stage presence, great attitude. Then there's Andre Gary, he's a drummer, he's 22 years old, he has more talent in his left pinky than most drummers I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this kid is just determined and focused. Seth Lacoste on lead guitar. Seth is a, a little scrawny looking fella, but he plays with such intensity and the soul that this guy, he's really bringing that Louisiana, that New Orleans feel to the table. And then there's Jared. He's kind of the outcast. He plays keys and sings as well. And you know, Jared's the kind, he's got tattoos all up and down him and you know, the big earrings, but he, he loves the music, you know, he's one of the most grounded, down-to-earth guys you ever know. people hire us to come play their party or venue or, or bar room is because we really like to, you know, we don't have a set list that we go by every night and we play the same 30, you know, songs every night back to back. We like to connect with our crowd and uh, get a get a response. You know, we'll play the first five songs and in those first five songs we might play anything from Journey to Nickelback or, or Otis Redding to Merle Haggard, you know. We like to cater to the venue, you know. Uh, if there's a younger crowd, we, we get them going, you know, with the younger music. And if it's, you know, we don't have a problem playing from, you know, to the 40-year-olds to 60-year-olds. My manager, she jokes and says that, uh, you know, we could, we could sing the jukebox. And what I'd like to accomplish out of our shows when people come see us, is one, I want them to be entertained. Two, I want them to feel like they were, they were on our level. You know, bands have a certain tendency because they're on that stage, you know, to feel like they're, you know, three feet higher than everybody else. I want people to feel like we're on the same level. And, you know, that guy, you know, that's a down to earth kid. You know, uh, that guy's, you know, just a normal guy. And I want them to feel like we've reached that certain connection from, you know, the stage.